Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. I am here with Lydia Sweetser, and she is the training director at Proof Fitness. And we are going to be talking about popular myths yes. that people tend to believe about working out. And some of these myths are not necessarily true. So Yes, you all come to me with questions all the time about stuff. And sometimes I hear some crazy things. So I was like, let's kind of get to the bottom of some of them. Well, I was excited that you brought this in. I thought this was great. OK, one of the first myths, yes. doing ab workout machines or ab workouts will get rid of belly fat. Yes. Is that true or false? False. False. So don't do crunches to your blue in the face because uh -huh. there's, there's no point. Um, if in order to get abs or lose any kind of stomach weight, uh -huh. it's all about your body fat percentage. OK. And so that comes from doing multiple workouts. Do your ab workouts because you want to do, but maybe right. don't do them every day and don't just wear yourself out on just doing machine work with so that. So what does get rid of belly fat then? Strength training and diet. Really? Yes. I mean, abs are, you know, made in the, the gym, but then revealed in the kitchen is kind of what they say. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, mine uh, need, need more revealing, I think. Um, okay, the second myth, that's interesting. Um, the second myth, um, if you don't leave the gym sweaty, then it wasn't a good workout, and it, yes. all, it, it is all for naught. Is that true or false? False. I used to be like that, where I would be like, oh, if I wasn't sweaty, I didn't get a good workout in. Right. But sometimes if you're doing certain lifts and things, you're not going to get super sweaty. Mm -hmm. Or one, you know, huge myth is, you know, yoga maybe isn't a good exercise. Mm -hmm. You can come in and take a yoga class and not break a sweat and still be sore the next day. Right, exactly. So don't feel like you have to kill yourself and be coming in and just be drenched when you leave. Exactly. Yes. A lot of people believe yes. that. And I used to believe that as well. But mm -hmm. I have learned over the years that even if I only have five or ten minutes to mm -hmm. go for a walk or whatever, I try to fit it in. Because yeah. um, every little bit helps all yeah. throughout the day. I, mean, I so. still leave sweaty regardless of what I do because that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> <laughs> However. Well, and you, you look a lot better than I do right now. Um, let me see. Okay, the next one. Um, machines are safer, uh, are a safer method to work out using machines versus free weights. Is this yes. true or false? That is also false. So people think that if they just stick to machine work, they can't mess it up. Uh huh. You really can. I mean, just go on YouTube. <laughs> There's a lot of YouTube fails on that. Um, yeah, that you can mess up your form doing any kind of workout. And so definitely have some someone help you, even on machines. Mm -hmm. It's just as safe as using your body weight or doing free weights. Wow. So don't. if you're not sure what to do, don't just stick to machine work. Gotcha. Really branch out of your comfort zone. Interesting. Now, also, this was something that's kind of new to me. Uh, you need to load up on a lot of protein after your workout. Yes. People think that when they leave the gym after a heavy workout, that they just chug a ton of protein, and your body can only digest anywhere between 18 and 25 grams. Okay. So anything over that, your body sometimes will store as fat. Uh huh. Because you it's can't still digest it. And so these shakes that are like, oh, 50 grams of protein, maybe drink half of it and save the other half for later. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even realize that that was important to do after your workout is mm -hmm. to load up on some protein. So you're yeah, saying just right after your you get done, repair. after you're done mm -hmm. working out, and then later in the day maybe yep. uh, drink some as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. I usually actually take two protein shakes a day right after my workout that way my muscles do repair better uh -huh. and then right before I go to bed maybe an hour before uh -huh. usually because I have a sweet tooth at night and so I'll make another protein shake yeah. um, at night as oh, well. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, women need different exercises than men. False. <laughs> really? <laughs> totally false. Yes women I mean we might lift a little bit differently just because we are built differently. Right. Like for me chest day is not something I enjoy. Mm -hmm. Most men love chest day but um, yeah you don't need to be lifting differently. You can mm -hmm. be doing the same movements, the same compound movements, deadlifts and squats and things like that. Wow. Yes. Well, this is really interesting. Thank you so much for yeah. being here, Lydia. Now, you have a uh, promotion going on right yes. now, correct? Yes, um, at Proof Fitness. Yeah, the month of June. Um, try us free. And this does include um, studio classes, and we do provide child care as well. Um, if you're not Ooh. more of the class taker, come in and um, take a session with me. Wow. Well, thank you so much for being no here. I always learn something new every time you're here. I love it. Um, find out what's popping in your entertainment news coming up right after this. You're watching Midday Kentucky.